Hi, Jim Van Zandt here, one of the pastors at Carlisle United Methodist Church with Sermon in Three Minutes. Happy New Year 2017. We began the year here at CUMC with a challenge and a challenge that I wanna to give to you as well. The challenge is simply this, that I think if you do this one thing, you not only can make 2017 a better year than 2016, but I think it has the power to change your life. It's very simple what I'd like you to do is simply to take the month of January and read through the Gospel of John in the New Testament. That's all, it's not long, you can do this. I only ask that you read it kind of prayerfully and devotionally, taking the entire month to do it, do it slowly. It's not that I believe the words on the page have power in and of themselves, but it's like the Christian faith has always contended that the word, capital W, always has the power to transform and change our lives through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Some, somehow, by the act of us getting into the Word, something gets released and the power of God comes over us in ways that bring us new understanding that can change our hearts and our minds. And so if we really want to make a change in 2017, I think reading the Gospel of John is a fantastic way to start the year. John, we're going to be studying it during the month of January. The church season of Epiphany starts this Sunday. Epiphany means the appearing, and the famous story that goes with Epiphany is the story of the wise men following the star. Well, John has two parallel themes in his gospel, telling us that Jesus not only is the life, but that Jesus is the light. And so it's appropriate we study John during the church season of Epiphany. In a quick reading of John, right in the beginning of the famous, the, the opening 17 verses are the famous prologue or introduction to these two parallel themes that John has. He sets them up right away. Matter of fact, his words in his book begin with the same three words that begin another book in the scriptures. John begins with the words, in the beginning. Well, you've heard that before. It's in Genesis as well. And just as Genesis and John share that opening, the opening words, they also share a similar structure. It's not too far into the book of Genesis that we read of God's directives for living that come from the Ten Commandments. John has something similar, and that's the Sermon on the Mount and the Beatitudes that take such a preeminent part of that fifth chapter of what John wants to tell us about Jesus. So John is signaling a new beginning in Jesus. And so in these infantile days of 2017, a chance to begin again in some area of your life that may not have gone as you would have liked it in 2016, begin this year by taking up the challenge, reading John. And if you read through John at the end of the month, I'd appreciate knowing about it. Because as I told our congregation here, that if you put forth this effort and you tell me about it, you're going to go on a list and I'm going to pray for you for the rest of 2017. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Sermon in Three Minutes today. God bless you.